What the? What the? A letter. What do we got here? <laughs> Man, they're 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 really low on cash crystal. if they have to use. What the heck? Some trouble at home? She quit her job. Huh. What the hell is this all about? The rank two match will be at Destroy Stadium. Aren't I a hard-working girl? Huh. Not the baseball stadium again. Man, they're running out of okay, so they're running out of material. Only two more to go. I'm going all the way. That's a promise. Um. Okay. I think that that looked a little little weird. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Sylvia's AWOL, but at least she actually told us where to go this time instead of, uh... I mean, she... <laughs> Sylvia is pretty resourceful with the amount of different ways of mail that she can use. <laughs> I'll, I'll give her that. And with that, we have uh, nothing left to do but to head out to Destroy Stadium for our next ranked fight. Let's go. Sweet. Okay, of course. Of course my bike is parked at the ATM. I saw it for a second it was parked at K Entertainment. It's like, oh, jeez, really? You'd think the bike would just reset to outside your hotel whenever you go back after an ATM, but because it because the bike can reset to your position because it'll reset to outside K Entertainment when you start one of those missions, but whatever. Anyway. Yeah, it's been quite a while since we've been back at Destroy Stadium. Well, if you listen very closely, you can hear the, the, the haunting, ghostly voice of a, of a dead doctor. Detective. Revolver guy. <laughs> oh, jeez. I love when you crash into cars, like, for a split second, your car, like, almost, like, warps out of reality. It's really bizarre. Anyway, so for this one, uh... Jump using the spell tiger. Oh, okay. So now you're gonna tell me how to how to actually jump. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's really bizarre. Honestly, though, I think that tutorial is necessary because most people would see that barrier and be like, "Well, I guess I can't get in because this game doesn't even have collision with cars, let alone." Or, like, any real, real collision with cars. You just kind of glide off of them. So maybe them giving you a tutorial that you need to jump over this is probably a good idea. Anyway, all the way in the back of the parking lot is our next ranked bat. Do, oh my god, we have to jump this one too. Uh, clever girl. Okay, let's do it. First try. Rank two. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Okay, here. Let's get a good running start. It's my first day. Okay. You can't rev the wheel in this game? Seriously? Okay, whatever. Rank two. Oh yes. Okay, back at Destroy Stadium, and yeah, this uh, this pre-ranking battle challenge is a little bit different than the uh, last few. It's actually uh, one of the one of the more it's probably the most gimmicky and so one of the most memorable because this is uh, yeah this is basically just you absolutely shredding through <laughs> several baseball teams worth of players on your spell tiger, uh, making a. Uh, <laughs> making lots and lots of roadkill. Uh, one thing you need to worry about is that they can actually knock you off your bike, so you don't want that to happen, so kind of just keep going and going and going. Uh, never, never stop, never stop boosting, because as soon as you do a drift, you're just going to get all of your boost back anyway. So uh, let's just keep doing this. There's a huge pile of them right here. I wish that it kind of had a kill counter at the bottom, but oh well. 
obviously it uh, lags the game quite a bit, unfortunately, uh, driving through all of these, which makes the... I mean, you're used to the game lagging when you're on the Spell Tiger anyway, but still, it's, it's a little unfortunate. Again, what I would give for a, a port, like an enhanced version of this game on the Switch or something that just has none of the performance issues that bug this game. I mean... That probably would never happen. The closest thing that we could ever expect is like a PC port. Which, hey, we got a Killer7. We got Killer7, so so maybe a, a PC port of No More Heroes would be... I don't know. Again, I, the game thrives with mo a Wii Remote, so... <laughs> no More Heroes in VR, though. That'd be that'd be interesting. Way too freaking expensive for me, though. I love No More Heroes as much as... Well, I was going to say as much as the next guy, but I, I pretty much love No More Heroes. <laughs> More than most people. Anyway, uh, we got a knock off the bike, unfortunately. But I don't think I would shill out like $600 for a VR headset for a new No More Heroes. Or maybe I would. I don't know. Anyway, we got knocked off the bike, unfortunately. So now we're going to have to do the rest of this on foot. Which, uh, yeah, I don't even remember that being a thing that could happen in the original. It very well might have. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's just hopefully uh, be able to take these guys out. Uh, no problem. We have a little bit more of a open, open field to show off the Subaki Mark III in all of its glory. There we go. That should have hit the guy behind me. <laughs> uh, is that it over here? I'm actually a tad worried about how much enemies there are left. Like, worried that. Like, the bike obviously is way faster than just doing it by hand, so ho hopefully this doesn't actually take a million more years because of my failure. Come on. Uh, gun guys are seriously the worst thing in the world. Yeah, you see, this this wasn't really meant to be done with uh, on foot, as you can see. So anyway, during the Gold Town mission, I actually tried to get a little bit better at parrying. And yeah, parrying is actually nuts. Because you just get a full... Seriously? <laughs> Fuck enemies with guns. Seriously. Like, you can't even attack. You can't even attack. And I remember this being a singe. I'm shaking the fucking controller as hard as I can. Would you fuck off? Seriously? Oh, back to zero. Guess I gotta charge again. just spawned. <laughs> okay then, game. Okay, sure. Sure. What horse shit. Okay, I think that might be all of them. There we go. Holy crap. So as you can see, I didn't get knocked off my bike at all, and it was made a lot easier. Uh, maybe you can get knocked off the bike in the original, but my god, like, it... The fact that this game runs worse than the original makes this section way more of a pain than it has to be. And, uh, the, and the added motion blur when you're boosting too makes it really, really painful to actually try to like see these little red and white specks on on your uh, on your radar, but uh, not like the actual radar, but just like your you know your visuals. Anyway, that was way more painful than I thought it would be. Oh god. Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's not all bad news because uh, now we're actually uh, on our way to the actual boss fight. All right.
Oh god, getting let shake vibes from this hallway. Oh no, it's even more rusty though. Next up is a ranking match. Oh, Sylvia. Win, and you will be second in rank. Lose, and you go to hell. <laughs> Cutting right to the chase. Please use the restroom. When you are ready, head inside. Good luck, Travis. Trust your force. Head for the garden of madness. Wow, she's not playing around. She's off the grid. Uh, oh God. Okay, yeah. This uh, this hallway looks a little bit messy. Not gonna lie. Oh, thank God, a full pizza. I need that after that nightmare of a bowl game. And some more trading cards too. All right. Let's pick up this wrestling mask and then. Uh, do we even want to go to the bathroom in this hallway? Is that a good idea? Also, uh, thanks to, I guess, Thunder Reeves Ghost, who's still leaving these these masks for us. The the Silent Executioner double wrist arm slot. Okay. Party time. Oh, wow, that's just scraped into the wall. This is, uh, I'm not liking where this is going. Yeah, please, please leave, Travis. Just just get out of here. Well, you still can. Okay, that prelude may have been a little hard, but uh, believe it or not, we're actually going to be going up against one of the absolute toughest bosses in the whole game. Rank 2, Bad Girl. Wow, you, I don't remember that shot being that gratuitous in the original. Also, nice shot. This is insane. Phew. What a day. I need a drink. So fucking thirsty. Hold on a sec. Oh, my, that's a lot of beer. <laughs> uh, damn, that's smooth. I feel alive again. Nice throw. Want a drink? I'll pass. <laughs> Pop quiz. Why am I such an angry bitch? Seriously, no matter how many I kill, it's all the same. They're all going to pay. Yeah, with their fucking lives. You're a bad girl. <laughs> you have no right Don't to wear it out. me like that. It's just a job. The daily grind. You're no assassin. You're just a perverted killing maniac. In essence, they're the same. Don't go on thinking you're better than me. You think you're hot shit. Who the fuck do you think you are? Come on! Not gonna lie, the, the HD conversion actually actually did Bad Girl justice. And this is Bad Girl, so yeah, this is uh, this is one of, hands down, the absolute... Why did Travis dodge away? This is hands down one of the hardest bosses in the entire game. Bad Girl will wreck your shit up if you're not careful. This boss has a lot going for her. She has, uh, first off, the fantastic... If it's not obvious, she may be one of the hardest bosses in the game, but she's also one of the best. Uh, definitely one of the absolute best. Anyway, this boss has a lot going for her. First off, obviously, the fantastic music, uh, Pleather, Pleather for Breakfast, which is probably one of the best, uh, I, I say one of the best uh, battle themes in the whole game. Uh, thankfully, her actual combo is relatively slow, so dark stepping her isn't too much of a problem, but as far as attacks go, that girl has a lot under her boot. She has uh, several different baseball swings, uh, obviously this one right here. She actually winds up right there and at the end is an unblockable attack, so you need to watch out for that. And she'll have a lot more uh, attacks open up as the fight goes on, including uh, one of the more tricky insta-kills of the game. Uh, maybe not as hard to dodge as Harvey Moisewitch Voldarski, but still uh, still pretty rough, so if you're not uh, ready for it, which uh, you probably won't be on your first playthrough. In fact, you definitely won't be on your first playthrough, come to think of it. Okay, she's kind of back into a corner right now, which is a little annoying. Let's uh, let's see if we can coax her out a little bit. Oh, God. This won't do any damage. 
I mean, it will do damage, but I didn't have a full charge, so it probably wouldn't have wouldn't have been for the best. Oh god. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't expect her to pull this out immediately, but uh, yeah, if you uh, you know what, sure. If you uh, actually go up to her uh, at this point, I'm surprised she actually didn't kill us right there. Uh, whenever she feigns uh, crying on the ground there, you actually need to watch out because if you're if she has her hand on her bat, I believe. Uh, she will actually instantly kill you if you go up to her. Uh, if she doesn't have her hand on her bat, then you actually uh, are just fine to actually wail on her. That's, that was weird, though, because she had her hand on the bat, but it didn't actually kill us. Maybe because we waited a little bit. I wanted to kind of show off the insta-kill, but at, at this point, we're probably a little bit too far into the fight. Anyway, this is where she starts using a little bit more attacks, including uh, summoning her various gimps by actually batting them at us. And you can actually reflect them when she bats you at them. Um, and if you do, I believe they don't actually spawn as regular enemies. Uh, there was nothing there. Uh, there we go. Come on. Oh god. Okay, yeah, so if you go, if you go next to her at this point, <laughs> might as well show it off. <laughs> Come on, you can't, it's not an Ori Heroes playthrough unless bad girl beats the ever-loving shit out of you. Yeah, if she has her hand on her bat, she feigns crying, and you go right up next to her, it's game over for you. No matter how big your health bar is, you're just straight up dead. <laughs> I think Travis, like, blah, like, out of his mouth without making a noise. Okay, let's, uh, let's get back there. Okay, I made it back to this part of the fight. Wow, good luck hitting that back with the, how much of this version lags, Jesus. Again, I I have to stress that, like, a lot of these boss fights, at, le at, least, at least when there's not too much action, actually do run at 60 on the Wii version. Oh, well. Anyway, um, let's deal with these gimps real quick, and then get back to her before she starts uh, throwing more to them, because that's probably her most annoying attack. There we go. Nice. Nice. One thing you, uh, about the charge attack that you actually want to be mindful of is you're obviously very vulnerable when uh, you do the charge attack. Not because you're you're uh, you could be damaged. You're completely invincible during the charge attack. But one thing you have to worry about is that when the charge attack is over, if she feigns crying, yeah, the charge attack ends with you right next to her, so it uh, will uh, end poorly for you. So yeah, in this situation, she has her hand on her bat. You need to stay the hell away from her. In fact, this is actually a great time to actually charge up our charge attack. There we go. So yeah, Sushi, uh, <laughs> Sushi says an explicit and then uh, starts getting up is when you can actually start wailing on her again. Oh, shit. I'm actually surprised he didn't do this a little earlier. So that's one more trick up her sleeve. Gun nipples of doom? Uh, no, <laughs> just just drinking beer. <laughs> a drunk bad girl is an even more dangerous bad girl. Who am I kidding? She's always drunk. Oh shit. Okay, this is uh this is the final phase of Bad Girl. This is essentially uh, where she lights her bat on fire. She's a little more buzzed, so she's a little more dangerous too in that regard. But uh, the main thing you want to worry about with the uh, with her uh, bat being on fire is obviously the bat being on fire does more damage, and she actually has uh, a little bit more range with a lot of her moves. Uh, so you need to be uh, careful of that. Okay, she's feigning uh, crying again. Uh, she actually doesn't have her hand on her bat, so we can actually go for the kill. Oh my god, we actually got a parry off of that. Nice. She's almost done. One dark step should do it. Yes! Oh, wow, we actually obliterated her. I remember Bad Girl being way harder than that. I'm just that good. Oh shit, that escalated quickly. Oh god. This would look ridiculous if I was still using the Subagi Mark II.
this is not how I pictured it would be with a girl laying on top of me. <laughs> I might have used that joke nine years ago. <laughs> I might be, that sounds like something I would say. Oh, uh, but there, there's a cool 400,000 for, uh, so we don't have to grind nearly as much for the next rank. But uh, that's bad girl taken care of. That boss is great. It's uh, it's definitely a step up in terms of challenge. It's because, I don't know, the last few bosses have been relatively easy. Because one of them is an easy magician who only has one heart attack. One of them, and one of them is a non-boss, and one of them is a hallway. So it's nice having an actual fight. Uh, yeah, it's not pretty. <laughs> so yeah, bad girl's dead, and she definitely won't be coming back. Don't don't you worry. People in the No More Heroes universe aren't resilient in the slightest. I'm, sh I'm she's she's deader than dead. Her father isn't going to be very happy about this. Let's just say that soon. On behalf of Sylvia Crystal, I am here to tell you that you are now officially ranked second. Thanks. That was a close one. Almost didn't make it. It was a fine fight, sir. Shit, that was close. Damn. He's still reeling from, from the first reality where he did get hit by the insta-kill attack. No Sylvia to greet us, and uh, Tra Travis is now... Uh, Travis is completely wiped after that one. Hey. But look how high we've climbed after uh, the last nine boss fights. We have made our way to rank second on the official United Assassins Association ranking with only one spot left to go. The top! <laughs>